It's Serena from the Falco family where homeschool is life and having a teachable spirit is our number one goal. I'm really excited. I am going to be unboxing a new program from The Good and the Beautiful. Um, they asked me if I wanted to try it out. Can you guys see the, the um, can you guys see the, uh, the cold air? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see the cold air or not, but it's definitely freezing out here in my studio space. But anyway, The Good and the Beautiful reached out to me to see if I would be interested in trying out a new program that they have developed. And um, it is a musical multiplication program. Um, my boys are pretty good with their multiplication facts and have moved on to different levels but I thought it would be a great fit for Savannah. Savannah's actually very good in math and it was about time for her to get started on the basics of multiplication so it was kind of perfect timing plus we had started our math boot camp as well so um, when they reached out to me I was like absolutely I would love to. I was actually supposed to start using it with Savannah already um, before I I received the actual package but I was kind of a misunderstanding and I didn't really realize that I could start already so um, I should have had a little bit more to report this time around but I don't just yet so today is actually our first day starting the program um, you have to use it as it's instructed and I am going to be going along the process with Savannah and showing you guys her progress from the first day of starting the program and I'll be doing updates along the Way. Oh, you guys, it's so cold out here. Um, anyways, today I am going to show you what's inside of the package and show you the instruction cards, everything that is that comes with it, and then I will show us getting started with the program today. I am really excited, and I hope you follow along to see how the program works. I'm just going to show you exactly um, how it is. Savannah is really good in math in general um, but we have not really covered multiplication facts she knows basic facts like the one times tables and some of the two times tables because of skip counting um, but for the most part we haven't really covered that so this is perfect timing and I hope you guys follow along so let me show you what's inside okay so first of all it comes in this super cute little um, box it's about the size of I would say a postcard it came shrink wrapped of course but I went ahead and already took that out inside there are four spiral books on the back cover it says musical multiplication children learn multiplication facts independently freeing up time for the parent or teacher to work with other children the books naturally bring joyful learning through full color watercolor art the music effortlessly instills musical abilities, including melody, pitch, beat, rhythm, rhyme, and patterns. The combination of music, rhythm, art, mentally filling in the blanks, and physically turning the pages ingrains the math long term. I love the way that they described it. It's, I can tell you, I really just can't say enough how much um, their curriculum matches a lot of what we do in our homeschool just naturally. So anyway, songs written by award-winning Christian songwriter Jenny Phillips. Jenny, I really adore you. Let me show you what is inside. Okay, so there is an instruction card and there are four multiplication sets, set A, B, C, and D, and I'll show you those in a second. It says, help older and younger children forever remember the times tables without having to trudge through boring math fact practice. Um, what is taught and how? The musical multiplication songs and books are divided into four sets, set A, set B, set C, and set D. 
children will memorize the threes, fours, fives, sixes, sevens, eights, nines, and twelves multiplication facts through the books and corresponding short songs. Twos are not taught as children should easily know the twos through doubles addition facts. Tens and elevens are not taught as they are easily easy as they are easy to learn. Since the factors in multiplication are interchangeable, there is only one song for each pair. For example, there is a song for six times four, but not four times six. The sets teach the songs in this order, and then they just go through the order. Set A, B, C, and D. So now I'm going to show you um, these. But the tip at the bottom says, you can play the songs while the child is playing, cleaning, riding in the car, and so on. But it is by far the most effective to have the child listen to the songs while following along with the books, looking at the images, singing along, and following up with flashcard practice. This is the back of the instruction card. Through standard methods, it can take children years to retain the memorization of multiplication facts. Through these songs, memorization should come much more quickly, but it may take several weeks of daily practice until a set is mastered. Once all sets are mastered, the sets should be reviewed at least once a week for 6 to 12 months. So that is the instruction card and now let me show you the actual sets. So as I said, there are four sets, set A through D, A, B, C, and set D. First of all, you guys, they are gorgeous, okay? <laughs> Look at how beautiful they are. I love their attention to detail. I love their use of watercolor. This is the set A. This is the first one. The introduction card was referring to the three times three equals nine and these are what the cards look like and these are the cards in the back that they're speaking of and there's a little scissors icon right here that you're just supposed to cut along these lines they're really great quality I don't know if you can tell it has a little bit of a sheen on it and they're really nice and thick, which is great, especially for younger kids to be able to flip through on their own. On the back of the flashcard is the answer, of course. Set A. Set B. Again, beautiful illustrations. The cards correspond to the songs as they play, and the child will just flip through the cards as the song is playing. And again, the flashcards in the back. Set B. Set C. I hope you can see the quality. It's really nice, you guys. And the colors are vibrant and beautiful, and you know how much I appreciate that. Same thing in the back. Space for you to cut, and the answer's on the back. And then finally, set D. Look at that beautiful illustration. They're so pretty. Same thing all the way through, and then another set of flashcards with the answers on the back. D, C, B and A. So I'm going to follow the instruction set and start with set A. Um, it says we're going to be uh, repeating the songs um, one to three times or more each day. So I'm going to follow the instructions. Um, I'm thinking about doing it in the morning at lunchtime and then before bedtime. Um, but at the least, I'll just do it at lunchtime during our homeschool day. Um, at the most, I'll do it before breakfast, at lunch, and after dinner or before bed. You know what I'm trying to say. So um, I plan on just getting a quick recording each time of her progress so that you can see um, how she is doing. Like I said, we're gonna be starting with this set. It seems pretty easy. We're just gonna be putting on the song and having her flip through the corresponding card and then quiz herself at the end of the set. And then we're gonna do that until she has it mastered and then move on to the next set adding in a review of the set of the previous set so it seems pretty simple you guys and we'll see how it goes and now we're going to get in our musical multiplication for the day okay so today we're going to be learning our multiplication facts okay. right you excited yeah savannah this is like big girl math wait here we have set a and it's more musical more more, more multiplication. 
<laughs> All right, let's do it, girl. I'm just going to play the set A songs that were sent to me with the program. Three times three is nine. Nine monkeys on a vine. Three times three is monkeys on a vine. Six times six. Six times six is thirty-six. Six times six is thirty-six. Dad has 30 <coughs> clocks to fix. <laughs> Five times Okay, so I think she's a little bit overwhelmed on day one, and she's not really wanting to do the quiz, but we're gonna keep going, right, Savannah? We're gonna keep going, and what are we gonna say? We're gonna say, every day and every way, we're getting better and better. Every day and every way, we're getting better and better. Every day and every way, we're getting better and better. Okay, so that's something that anytime the kids are getting this discouraged about something um i forgot where i got that from but we started saying out loud every day and every way we're getting better and better so let's give this a try so the first day is not going to be as good savannah because you're just learning it but every day and every way we're getting better and better right okay let's do it let me see your ready face <laughs> focused not focused <laughs> so I'm actually supposed to cut these, but I haven't cut them just yet. I will. So let's see what Vanna remembers. We're going to start with three times three. Three times three is... <gasps> you remembered it! Okay, I think I remember, because I'm learning the songs with you too. Three times three is... Nine. Nine monkeys on a... Bye. Yeah! Six times six is... Thirty-six. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Five times three... Fifteen beats. Oh, don't sting me, please. Five times three... Fifteen beats. Oh dear, please don't sting me. <laughs> I really hope you guys follow along and see how Savannah is doing with the program and how well um, it works. I'm pretty sure that it's going to work super well. We are really big on using songs and audio in general in our homeschool. I think it is really it does amazing things for retention. I'm pretty much sure that it's a guarantee it's going to be a good thing. Um, so I'm just going to record the progress along the way. I'm not exactly sure how often I'll be posting updates, but um, I guess after this first week, we'll see how it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you will follow along. I'll leave all of the information that I have on the program and when it's going to be coming out and things. I'll have all of that information linked in the description box below. So thank you again to Jenny and the team for thinking of me to um, try out the program. I know it's going to be amazing. I really do because I have found that the methods that they use um, in building their curriculum are things that we already believe in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. Talk to me in the comments below. Um, do your kiddos already know their multiplication facts? I'm really excited about this because, like I said, I'm using Savannah um, to try the program out, but I think it's going to be really beneficial um, for myself and my oldest. Um, my younger son is actually a pro at all things math. He's a whiz at all things math and knows the ins and outs of all the multiplication facts and many other math related things but I can be a little rusty if I'm being honest <laughs> I can be a little rusty and then my older son is a little rusty so I think this will really help us too um, to be able to 
<laughs> be a bit quicker getting out our math facts, our multiplication facts. So anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.